Hello guys, uh, at the end of this tutorial, we are going to be making this, which means at the end of this tutorial, you are going to be making something like this, and I'm 100% sure you are going to be very happy with yourself making something like this, and not just making this, in the process of you making this, you are going to be learning various tools and the way they can be applied and in modeling some things also. Uh, maybe later on you may try to apply that to your nearest future project and I'm 100% sure this is going to be of help to you and most importantly this is for beginners and also anyone who has already been in Blender for long uh, it also they are also welcome too so now without wasting most of our time let's move on into the real work now Let's move on into the rework now. So I'm going to be creating a new file. So let me discard this. So now this is our new Blender interface. So I will make sure I will try my best to always uh, uh, speak out the 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 shortcut I'm going to be using, as for you not to be lost in the process of this tutorial. So I'm going to be pressing. X now to delete this box. X delete. Then one on my notepad. In case you uh, you're trying to press one or two on your keyboard and it's not responding, you you just go to edit, then preference. Then under your input you can check your emulate numpad. That's very important. Then now, f uh, for us to model our can, we need a reference because whatever you're going to be modeling in render, in Blender rather. And there's a need for your reference. The reference is going to put it through. So I have my reference, which I got from on on um, Google. So I have it already in the folder. So we're going to make use of this. So this is my reference image. But this reference image now it is too deep for me to use. So we can easily adjust this out by coming down to this image icon then sh check the use alpha then I can reduce oh no sorry I can reduce this tra transparency then I can reduce this okay now I think this is okay for me now the next I'm going to be doing I'm going to be bringing in and the uh, <coughs> the uh, the primitive to be used as in for the base shape now so I'm going to be making use of circle now so I'm going to press shift A on my keyboard shift A make sure I'm using circle okay then I'll press G in the Z direction to move down G in the Z direction remember this is just a reference you don't have to uh, it doesn't have to be perfect on it like that just to put it through that's all for now, I need to move on to the edit mode now. So I'll press my tab to move on to edit mode, then E in the Z direction, E in the Z direction, stop here, then E again in the Z direction, then I'll scale in S, press S to scale in. Now I need to see through what I'm doing. So uh, what I'm going to do now, press Z on my keyboard, then come to wireframe. Then I need to pan to move down, then shift, long press shift, then your middle mouse move button. You go to pan this way. Then roll in your middle mouse button to zoom in. Then E in the Z direction to make the top part of it. Okay, then I'm done with that. Then I can easily come down to the base also. Alt, long press Alt down, then left click. Then you can click everything at once without any problem then E in the Z direction in the Z direction then I can scale in the two then E in the Z direction and me mind you that E means extrude means S E that E means extrude okay I think we are good with this we are okay with this so now I'm done with the reference image I can delete that then I can press my Z to come back to the solid view. So this is what we have now. 
hopefully I get them that. So now we need to keep on working on it now. So now for the base, we are going to close it up by pressing F, which means face. F that's for facing. Then I to insert. Then I to insert. Sorry for that. Then I to insert. Then I again. Oh, let me press that again. Then I again to insert. So <clears throat> we need to strengthen this model properly because we are going to be adding a modifier called sub surface, and the essence of that sub surface. Is to make our model to be more smoother and more neat so with ctrl r i'm going to be adding something making sense here so with ctrl r later on i'm going to add another subsurf from the so also to the top part okay then also to the down part i'm going to be adding ctrl r for loop cuts So now here I'm going to add the control R to add the loop cut. This is what we call the loop cut. So control R again. So with your control R you can add that. So just to as the moment we applied our subdivision surface, so this model we won't uh won't distort in uh, too much in uh in any way okay so now i'm going to work with the top part now then i'm going to alt then long press long press alt then left click so for me to be able to click all that at once then e then scale then e in the z direction then i can scale also scale okay then e scale again then g in the z just the two then scale e then scale so we're going to leave uh, this part for uh for the for the opening section because if, when you notice a soda can there is a part on top of it for opening so that part we're going to do separately then we're going to add that on it so i think we can now apply our sub the modifier now okay, probably let's just add like a loop cut here okay then i can Come, you can. We cannot come down to this R and to this spanner icon. You click on the spanner icon, then add modifier, then subdivision surface. Hope you see that more smoother than the way it is before. Then we can right click and press shade smooth. Voila, see that. So we are getting there gradually. So it depends on your own reference your own reference might be a long one maybe a long because i have a reference also that is long but i decide not to use that because of the texture i'm going to be applying on it the texture material i'm able to get online so now the next thing i'm going to be doing is the top part of it so i have a reference for that also so i'm going to move to the top mode then shift a to go down to the image reference then for the top part i will be using this g to move so for now i wide this like that then we want to make i think this part is very important so we want to make this shape hope you can see so now for us to make this shape we're going to start with the circle shift a then circle 
it is applied already I'm going to bring it up G in the Z then 7 G in. let me position it well then I'm going to scale it remember that's S scale it again just to fall into play. okay now I need to move to edit mode that's I want by for you to move to edit mode you just press tab then I'm into edit mode now so I'm going to start by fixing it by pressing F so but I need to see through then I'll press Z wireframe then I will insert once for the edges then insert again Sets. Then I'm going to insert again. You will soon see what I'm trying to do. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to be tracing, tracing these edges now. That is my mission. I want to be. I want. I need to trace all these edges. So that's what I want to do now. So how do I do that? Just click then G. With G, I will move with G. Obviously, so I'm gonna be fast about this. G, G. So I'm gonna trace this shape all through. So if you're able to get this, you may fast forward this part then. You may, or you just pause, fast forward it, then you just do it on your own. You, the main goal is just for you to get the the, <coughs> the explanation behind it. So now G. So I'm going to be fast about it now. Okay, now I think we are. I'm done with this with the outer part. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to trace these ones also inside of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. So also following the same thing, yes, G drag, G drag. Then I'm going to be fast about it again. Sometimes it might look tedious, but the output you realize it's worth it sometimes. Sometimes also, than you trying to look for a shortcut. And the essence of this is just to have a better topology to have something smooth
so now I think we are done with that then we can now move on to hide this and let's see what we've done so we'll press it to move back to solid mode then tap to move to the edit mode then I can come back to my face mode here so face let then I can alt long press alt then click so when I long press alt I'm able to click the whole thing also sheet down then click and E now before that I will need to make an insert just uh, as to make sure it doesn't deform the moment the deformation is not too much the moment I had my subdivision surface so insert first then E little then scale then scale the essence of this is just to show the cavity for the opening <laughs> you know when you look at the top of the can it doesn't go in too much but you you will know me looking at it that this day please open this up so now that's just what we're trying to create so also this insert it too then e then scale i think it has is in too much then let's bring it out as little okay can decide to insert this again okay. inserts then apply loop cut that with control R also loop cut a uh, control R and if you want to add multiple loop cuts the moment you press your control R then you just roll in the button the middle mouse button then it's going to apply as many as possible for you so I think we are done with the basic shape now then we are going to be applying our subdivision surface now remember it's under this panel icon then add modifier subdivision surface then you can try to increase it if you wish then look at that voila <laughs> so we've made the that basic shape now so the next thing we're going to be doing let's put h let's add that back then let's position this let's try to position it g in the z Let me scale G and Z seven top view. So position properly. You know it's not centered, so we need to play on with it. Okay. I think we can move it down a little. okay nice we see that now and i can join them that's ctrl j good <laughs> hope you see that so we've made the top part of it now the second one on top of it now that's what we're going to be making next so the second one at h so i'm going to be hiding this again so we want to make this shape and I want to make this so the first thing so let me try to rotate it to be perpendicular as for it to be easy for me easy of easy for us to do so now we need to make this basic shape for us so for me for us to do that let's we're gonna make use of um, a a plane now that will be we're going to add that from shift a then under mesh plane then i'm press z 
it's wireframe and G scale in the X I'm trying to position it well scale in the Y okay scale in the Y then with G I'm sorry so with G pushing that then then to move to edit mode now when you press your tab button I'm now on edit mode then now I'm going to add loop cut with control R so I'm going to add by rolling in my mid mouse button I'm able to add as many as possible for now I will add let me say 5 I think let me, let, let's start with this first then I can swap to vertex selects so I can start to uh, make the outer part to align properly with our reference image then G That's, that's that so so now what we're going to be doing now again is we're going to be adding a loop cut at the center here. Okay. We're going to be adding a loop cut. So the essence of the loop cut so that we're able to trace uh, the top part and the down one. So, J. Okay, so now I'm going to be tracing this one also. Also, get the basic shape. Okay, I think so. You may work more on yours to make it more perfect, more okay. Okay, good. So, done with that, then easily I can come back to click on my face. Let's on the face select then inside first then E 
E to a delete that face. Also, this. Set I then E and E. Oh, I mean, sorry, not E X rather to delete. Not E, you make use of E for extrusion, then X to delete. Sorry for that. So now I can hide this. So this is what we've made now. Now I need to mine these edges. Let's see what we can do. To so this edge. I think before first to do something to these edges. What I ought to do is that if I make use of this method like let's say I I straight this off like E we get that so I'm trying to do something then I'm gonna bevel all these edges then I will delete it again like this this and this Control B, it's Control B. You have to bevel edges, then rolling your middle mouse button to what? Cut. Then I can come back to the vertex select and make sure I'm in edit mode. I mean wireframe. Then I can press C to select the top part only to so delete them off. So X vertex then we are left with this. Obviously that. <laughs> so we've got in that then solid. Then I can now apply modify. Okay. Even before that we need to we need to give it a thickness. So I'm gonna make use of Solidify, so we we'll solidify. I need to add like a 0 0.01 thickness. Oh, we get that now. So I can apply my apply that. So now I have a thickness. Then I can go ahead to bevel these edges. Alt long press that. Oh, there's a mist up here. I think it's during our. Okay, let me, let me, let me back this. Let's back that. Solidify again for this time around. Let's invert the direction. Oh, I think some of uh, when we deleted, we deleted the vertex the last time, some of them are yet to be deleted, they are still there. Okay. 
be okay now I uh, try to add to add my salt in the solid by just extruding it if that's going to give me what I want rather than making use of solidify I'll forget that now that I just extrude it up E if that's going to give me what I want then I'm going to add my subdivision surface voila I've seen that then I'll increase that then probably maybe add loop codes to place like here so some edges so that's the basic idea behind that hope you understand that now so now I can what I can do now is to bring in out H for now you are going to hide anything on blender with H then on hide with out H so when I'm done with this just delete that then what we've created is in here G in the Z solid then 7 Rotates. Okay, rotates. Then scale down. Scale down. Yours, yours, yours can be perfect than this. Just take your time and follow the same process, and I promise you, you're going to get it. Then G in the Z. Just to sit down. It's okay. Good. Then I think we need to raise this, the the front part up a little. This part we need to raise it up. So how we're gonna do that? Come back to the vertex and just pick. Yeah, just pick. Then make uh, click on. Try to check your proportion editing. G in the Z. Then roll in your button. Okay, good. I think it's fine now. So <coughs> that's that. I can group that country J. Here we go. So we've created our can. Then we can I can place this to sit down properly. So here we go. So now we are done making our card down. The next thing is the texture. So I, I'm going to continue that in the next uh, next tutorial. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to subscribe. That will, that will, I will so much appreciate that. So see you next time.